Hello, dear ones. Father Peter John here, coming to you from All Saints Orthodox Church in Bloomington, Indiana. Christ is in our midst, and a blessed feast day of Saints Peter and Paul to all of you. We just finished the Divine Liturgy for Saints Peter and Paul, and I wanted to just say one thing, you know, about um, about Saint Peter's wife. Saint Peter was married. We remember Jesus healed his mother-in-law in the Gospel. And, uh, but we don't hear anything else about St. Peter's wife or his children at all in the Gospels. What we do know is that St. Clement, writing in the year 202, wrote that Peter had, uh, was, was, that he had children, and also wrote that Peter, the Apostle, uh, witnessed his wife being led to martyrdom, and that he rejoiced at her steadfastness and he rejoiced that she was being called home to be with Christ. And he gave her these words of encouragement. You know, we hear this, it's very brief, but we think of St. Peter the Apostle who had lived his life with his wife. We think of him and his service to Christ in the church. And then we hear these words that he says to her as he sees her being led to martyrdom. He sa it says he calls her by name, and of course it doesn't tell us what her name is, unfortunately. But it says, he calls her by name and says, Remember the Lord. Remember the Lord. So brothers and sisters, we should encourage one, e uh, one another with these words. Remember the Lord. Always remember what's important. Always remember to seek him first and his kingdom first. We should encourage uh, our spouses. We should encourage our families, our children. We should encourage our brothers and sisters in the church with these words. Remember the Lord. Remember what he's done for us. And remember that we are all called to be saints, to live our lives in him and for him, and to uh, bear witness to his truth, to the truth. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So. Brothers and sisters, again, a blessed feast, and let us remember on this day, not only Saints Peter and Paul, but also Peter's wife, who paid the ultimate sacrifice for the sake of the Lord. Amen. Christ is in our midst. He is and ever shall be.